Okay, hello everyone, it's Golden Buddha. I heard that some of you have problems with tertios, or flowers, or whatever it's called. Tertios is like an advanced way of creating flowers where you have different kinds of troops, and it causes enemy troops dealing damage to your stack or flowers or petals on a lower rate because of the last turn mechanic. But in general, it's like dividing troops into smaller units. We are about to attack this person. And as you see, his army is stuck here, probably fighting those guys. We are interested in winning quite fast. So what we are doing, we are just moving. As you see, we can follow out our troops. So we won't be able to reach this position, but at some point we'll be able to walk the way down and uh, yeah, sorry for that um, as the pathfinding that is broken it doesn't follow the easiest way just going through the through my ally in general we'll be able to catch this army here and all armies there in general, you want to place your stack you want to dictate the road of your stack all the points where it's going then when you have this road you decide how much you want to divide it. The, boy, the best way to divide arts is to divide it into petals of one artillery. This is what I prefer to do. But sometimes you don't have time, so we'll divide it into petals of five or ten artillery. Uh, some guys like Petrus or Boris say that it's better to divide arts into groups of four, but I disagree with that. I will be doing fives right now only because I don't have time. Maybe even I will do tens. Let's do it. So what do we do? We divide arts. That's the most important thing. Then you move sliders to match those of arts. We cannot do anything about the car, but we will move sliders here. Then you press at marching order and you press marching order further away. The same thing with here. You go, you change things, and you add location, and another one, and you add location while my girls are talking in the background and making everything possible to destroy audio in this video. Anyway, we will go through that problems and we'll see how our tertios works. No, there was a idea that this person can join us, but I know how he plays in another game. And his performance is, well, it's not on the same level as the performance of the rest of our team in that map. And because we want to win it fast, without too much problems and this person will cause a lot of problems because we'll always have to help him it's just better to not not support him in that particular map he won't he won't be able to stand the, in the wars he won't be able to fight in the wars that will be fighting on this war in this map to win so it's just easier for him just to resign from this game on this point when he doesn't he didn't commit too much time into it so important thing is just in case switch your arts to sh uh, how, not sure how to call it in english stop fire okay what we do then we declare war all right the Quarrel War on the Piemont. Yes. It's part of the bigger coalition. This coalition is quite big. It doesn't matter for us because we are much bigger and stronger. Those are my guys, Spanish Tertios. The coalition we are about to attack is here. Huge difference. Doesn't matter that they are big because they don't know how to fight. Okay. Let's see what will happen here. The Ars will shoot in some kind of order. I'm not sure which one will shoot first. If the first one will kill enemy, others won't shoot. 
this is how it works. <laughs> so let's see. And they will save shot for round for another time. Let's see how it goes. Shoot. All right, arms are shooting. Let's see what happened. Still, is, they are shooting. Some calculations. Right, they all shot. And there are still two infantry in the fort. So what we'll do, I will just simply march forward. In one hour, we'll check and do the same. Switch to aggressive fire. It is very similar to what you have seen in the, I think, 17th and 18th century, where you have like a line of infantry shooting, and the shooting line was withdrawing behind the line that was preparing to shoot. Here we are doing opposite. We are shooting and moving, shooting and moving. You can have two, three lines if you want, but it's just easier to keep everything in one line. There are some times when you play a very good player, you would like to have better players, uh, better troops in front, and they will be made of one or two or three yards and the rest of the melee troops. They will be in front of your troops around roughly, you want to keep them like above five kilometers, six, 10 kilometers in front of your arts to make sure that your art behind those melee troops in front, behind the, that avant-garde, won't be hit by the splash damage. Those melee troops will keep a couple of arts to keep the same pace as the rest of arts behind them. So all this stack of avant-garde and main force would move with the same pace. You always need to keep in mind that because this avant-garde will fight, melee fight, it is possible that they will lose all art. It's very unlikely, but possible. So just in case, give more arts to the avant-garde troops and always check on them if they have art. Otherwise, they will just go too fast and there will be this uh, nice gap of a couple of kilometers between the avant-garde and the main stack will be lost. We don't want that, we want to keep troops in the battle formation all the time and to move through the enemy territory on the very nice pace. Let's see here, we are also interested in attacking AI here. So what we will do, we'll use our ships to drive AI, oh my God. We will drive AI from its bases, from its from its um, locations to the sea, if we can. Let's see what is our popularity, 66%. It, it looks like we attacked the guy, but he was a bad, bad guy. That's why we haven't lost too much a popularity, because before that I had a popularity like 69. Now we are about to attack AI. AI is a different kind of bread. This is some, this is country that everyone likes because it's AI, especially the AI countries. I don't know, AI is like AI, so what we'll do, as I said, we'll cause the war and we'll drag the AI from its bases and we'll try to take over. Right, this is capital, so we'll leave it for the for the last. Right now we'll just simply declare the war. Yeah. We have some troops here, let's march them a little bit. Let's march them a little bit and we'll start shooting uh, let's move right one shot one ship one art one battleship every shot should drag ai the whole garrison except one infantry from that location how it works this is how it was pro programmed but lately i saw a uh, bit was changing something so let's see how we do it oh my god this artillery is too close just in case we'll put it here oh well okay now i understand why uh, let's see okay war imminent let's go whale whales not sure what is the proper pronunciation whale loves start the war okay wait and seconds and now we open fire first we shoot here fire 
Inspire. And as you see, and the three troops are moving. There's a lot of them, right? But still, there is one unit left in the garrison. And what do we do to take out this unit? We'll shoot it with our... This is moving unit. This is standing unit. You need to be very precise. There is a splash damage. But because we shoot this one unit here, it will start moving towards us. We don't have to kill it. It's just a pink. Come on, I'm shooting at you. You need to come and attack me. This is what we achieved here, you see? <laughs> we dragged AI from its base. Okay, let's see how this will work here. We want to take all the biggest troops from the garrisons so they don't move between the cities. Okay, fire. Yes, same thing here, 52. Second shot will be here. At the same time, we will shoot at this one infantry here. Yep, we drag the... It's harder with the humans, you know, because the humans decide where to move troops and, and so on. So you are not really able to, pro, to move the enemy troops where you want them to be. But in this case, it's quite simple. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Joke. Right. Now I want these troops to move. I will take them out. Shoot. There are some instances when you shoot, and then the troops will not move. It's simple like that. Some, are, some uh, light cruisers will not be able to drag enemy troops from the town. Not sure why. Probably it's some kind of combination of fourth level uh, and com and troop this troop uh, troop squad troop uh, uh, types of uh, units that are inside of this garrison possibly because there are certain compositions of stacks that are not reacting to our ships shooting so for example if you will have it will you will see it straight away when you have art somewhere the arts if you shoot at them they, they won't move they will be shooting at you they will be waiting till they kill you if you will kill their art then the, the whole stack will move on the next possible occasion here for example we'll just stand but at the same time we'll move that one infantry here we will what we'll do We will shoot. Okay, let's go. I hope he will go that way. It's possible he will go all the way around, yeah. Good. Let's go. <laughs> let's hide in the fort and make sure the guy will hit us. Then let's move here and leave it normal. Shoot. So when the artie will come here, he will start shooting at him. Okay, sorry for the noises. No, we are shooting this one unit here. It should start walking. Yep. This is what we wanted. And this is what we will do. Right. So now we'll put this one artillery here. So this town is empty and we can move our troops inside. It won't be so easy here because, as you see, my troops are not in the best position. We want them. We want our arts to be hidden behind the fort. So for now, we'll just withdraw here. Make sure the arts are somewhere here. And we'll be shooting at this town to drag the enemy AI troops into fort in Shubari. Shubari, whatever. Right, this guy. This guy is here. We shoot him. He leaves his post. Yep, town is empty, as you can see. This one infantry is attacking us, that's why we can see it, because it left fort. And hopefully, yeah, we can change our shooting here. I will move light cruiser a little bit here, so I can attack. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Not sure why AI, why Vitro doesn't want to fix that pretty thing, but... Nothing you can do about that. Okay. Let's move our troops. Let's pepper him with more. 
arts. <laughs> to be honest, we can move those arts here, force its way here. Well, they will be shooting, we don't have to worry about them. Let's create a f flower made of petals of two arts. Should be enough to annihilate everything. Easy like that. If you have the high command, there are no problems at all. When you don't have time to fight, you just create your tertius. If you create a plan where you want to move enemy troops and you just lure them into into trap. Sorry for the noises, they are very loud. Pretty sure they are made on purpose <laughs> to force me to stop recording, but I cannot wait any longer. My troops were almost in this Italian country, I couldn't wait for the lunch anymore. That's why we recorded it in this spot. Cool. Yeah, I think everything is set up for at least for one hour, so I have one hour to eat something and don't think about that thing, that war. Later this day, we'll record two more videos. One will be about um, Hanar hit and run tactic, and second, I think, will be about the planes, how to fight plane war, how to do the email man turn, and oh, simply to shoot enemy planes on patrol without losing any of yours. For now, it's everything. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It's simple like that, as that. I just drag enemy troops. I don't care about where they are and what they are doing. Uh, yeah, as you see, we can probably move a little bit here to the rack draws troops and to be away from infantry. In fact, we should follow our ship. At some point, it, it can decide to change the road and hit something else. Not sure how does it work, how it was hard coded. But as soon as I will know, I can create a new movie about it and we'll see how it works. Another player moving somewhere. Yeah, two provinces. This is that guy. Or that guy, that guy. <laughs> Who loves everything? Right. Let's keep it going and stay safe. See you around, guys.